this right here is going to be the Lenac conversion to T-Motion. Um, basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to strip it down to bare bones and that would be what you see right here. You're going to take the panels, the headboards and the safety rails off, remove the mattress, get it to this point. Then you're going to need a partner to help you flip it over so you can expose the uh, actuators and control box. all right so when you flip it over it'll look something similar to this the only thing that's missing out of this right here for demonstration purposes is the remote control um, so you have two clevis pins for each one here's one here's one here's one here's one the foot section has a smaller actuator. The head section has a bigger actuator with a control box mounted onto it. What you're gonna to wanna to do is pull your clevis pins or your cotter pins, remove, and keep the same hardware. We will send hard, extra hardware with it, but you can reuse the exact same hardware that you're taking out. So just set them to the side. Sometimes it's not as easy to get those things out. So you can take another clevis pin and pop it in there just like that. And then lift up if you have trouble getting it out. If you have issues trying to get the agus bushings out, which are these black little tabs on each side, what you can do is remove the clevis and cotter pin, lift up one end right here and wiggle back and forth and it'll just come right out for you and then sometimes they're a little bit of a pain so you just gotta shake it a little bit and then that one right there is removed you'll do the exact same process over here to this right. and that is how you will remove it all right, so when you get these parts from us, the head actuator will already have the control box mounted to it. So when you get it, it'll look just like this, and the power cord will already be installed. All right, now, it's very important to be paying attention to which way this is going. The head section, with the control, so the head actuator with the control box is going to move this head section. So this right here is an anchor point where this piece right here will go down in and it will not move. This one will move and it will extend out and that is what will raise your head. If you try to do it like this, where you're pushing this way, it will break the frame. So this is very important. All right, so. When doing this, it will come to you just like this. You'll need to remove this sleeve. And what you can do is you can take one of the cotter pins that you have removed. And there is a little mechanism right here. And you can use a Phillip, I mean a flathead screwdriver, but all you gotta do is just pop that in there and it'll come right on out. Set that to the side. Now, this right here is pretty self-explanatory. It has head, foot, high, low, high, low. Now, for this right here is just for demonstration purposes. The ones that what you will be sent will just have head and foot and then a remote. So you'll take it. This one will already be installed. And while you have it exposed and out, you wanna go on and take your foot section 
which is your smaller one. That's how you'll be able to tell which one is the foot. Plus, it doesn't have the control box mounted onto it. You'll go on and put that in there as well. And we will send you a remote. And it will look just like so. Set it off to the side. And the remote has a different end on it. And it will go directly into this one. Now you can put your plastic sheet back on top. And it'll just slide on. It might take a second to get it to click in. All right. So now that you've got it like that, just flip it over. You may have to just wiggle a little bit to get it to get down in there. What you'll do is you'll take your Igus bushing and put it onto your clevis pin just like so. You'll wanna get the anchored part in first, the one that does not move. Then you'll take another agus bushing onto this side. You'll place it on. Go on and put your crotter pin on. Repeat the process for this end. Same thing with this one. Right here is your foot section. Right here is the anchor point. You want to be having it to where it pushes this way. So, in order to do this, you will have this fixed point here, and you'll have this end going where it's pushing that way. Put your clevis pin in your eye is pushing through. Repeat the process. All right, now your installation is complete. Now is a good time before you turn it over to plug it in and check and make sure that your remote works and that they just move. You just want to crack them a little bit just to see if the actuators move and that the control box is doing what it's supposed to do. After that, you can flip it over and reinstall all your panels and headboards.